the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 family has added another member, and Moto finally brought a new annual X series flagship model in mid-December, Moto X40. The Moto X40 is actually the follow-up version of the previous generation of Moto Edge X30. In order to lower the price, the previous generation of Moto Edge X30 actually made a small compromise in the configuration, but this generation of Moto X40 can actually see the compromise flagship of the previous generation. Attributes are finally in place, such as wireless charging, IP68 water resistance, and more. The shape and appearance of Moto X40 actually have the appearance elements of Moto in the past two years. The back of this term line blue has a very classic AG frosted glass texture, and the classic shiny M-shaped bat logo is embellished in the center. The weight of the whole phone is less than 200 grams, and the overall feel is quite good. The screen of the Moto X40 is also inherited. The 6.7-inch OLED panel continues to be supplied by China Star Toyotronics. The difference is that a curved screen is used, and the maximum display refresh rate is increased to 165 Hz. The actual display performance depends on the objective data measured in the laboratory. First look at the brightness, the manual maximum of 545 nits seems mediocre, but the external strong light can stimulate a higher 1097 nits, which belongs to the flagship level. On the system, Moto X40 has two color modes, one is the default saturated color, and the other is the optional natural color. The default saturated color is slightly warmer to the naked eye, while natural color is it is a warmer orientation to meet the preferences of different groups of people. The white point color temperatures of the two were measured at 7261K and 6334K, respectively. In addition, our laboratory measured these two modes, that is, saturated color corresponds to 110.11% of the P3 color gamut volume coverage, and natural color corresponds to 93.64% of the sRGB color gamut space coverage. Color standards are not highly coupled. In terms of color accuracy, the average E is about 2000 value measured corresponding to sRGB's natural color is 1.22. The color accuracy of this mode is still good, while the saturated color of the P3 color gamut. The E is 4.71, and the color accuracy is quite satisfactory. There are not many Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform phones available on the market today, and Moto X40 is one of them. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 continues to use TSMC's 4 nanometer process technology, and its power consumption, performance release, and heat control are better than those of the previous generation of Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has improved a lot. In addition to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform, it also uses the new LPDDR5X storage and UFS 4.0 flash memory, with the Mac system scheduling engine announced by my UI 5.0 this time, and the new large cycle 3-dimensional cooling system 2.0, Moto X40 this time should have good performance. Here we use 3D Mark, Geekbench and PC Mark as usual, to get a rough idea of the graphics rendering, CPU and storage performance of the Moto X40. The performance is that of the next generation flagship. The performance of the SoC is similar to other Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 that has been released today. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is about the same, but the storage performance is actually slightly better than the opponent. If you feel that the running score is not intuitive enough, then continue to look at the part of the game performance test, or Glory of the King or Peace Elite. With the blessing of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, Glory of the King and Peace Elite are stable characters. The average frame rate of each mode is basically full, with less frame rate jitter and good temperature control. Honor of Kings did not exceed 39 degrees Celsius, Peace Elite did not exceed 40 degrees Celsius, and more importantly, the average power consumption was low, with a minimum of 2.1 watt, and a maximum of 3.1 watt. In the three-camera system at the top of the back of the Moto X40, one uses the OmniVision AV50, a 50-megapixel main camera with a 1 per 1.55-inch sensor, and a 12-megapixel medium telephoto camera that doubles as a 1 per 2.93-inch type Sony IMX663 sensor, and a 1 per 2.76-inch Samsung JN1 ultra-wide-angle and the entire imaging system has nothing to do with it, and the front camera uses a 60-megapixel AV60 sensor. Generally speaking, Moto X40 follows the hexagram of stylization. At first glance, it is more eye-catching, and relatively speaking, it is easier to satisfy the aesthetics of ordinary users. There are no problems in details, resolution, etc. But if you look closely, you can still feel the traces of HDR are still a bit obvious, and in the complex light environment indoors, this will be amplified to a certain extent. Finally, looking at the more extreme environment at night, the overall look and feel is actually good, and the color basically continues the style of the day, and does not overly brighten the light in the darkroom for improvement. 
The Moto X40 has also added several new modes in terms of video recording this time, such as anchor mode, using the front and rear cameras, autofocus tracking, in which the subject does not run out of focus, and a horizon lock video, in which the picture is always kept horizontal function. The so-called anchor mode is based on the dual view mode. The foreground frame can be automatically activated when the user speaks, and the front and rear scenes appear in the shooting screen at the same time, while the automatic focus tracking is to achieve focus locking on moving objects during the recording process. The horizon the lock function is to let the phone automatically recognize the horizontal alignment of the video screen, so that users can still obtain a stable enough screen presentation, under the conditions of motion tracking or harsh shooting conditions. And our consumers are often very happy to see this kind of practical and interesting function. The flagship of this generation seems to have a stable performance in terms of battery life. This time, the Moto X40 is no exception. It uses a 4600mAh battery, which is matched with a 120W fast charge. Our laboratory starts from 1% of the battery. Charging, the Moto X40 can reach 36% of the power in 5 minutes, and the power is more than half in 10 minutes, and finally the whole battery is fully charged in 21 minutes. Continuing to use the 5-hour battery life test model in our test, the Moto X40 finally has a remaining power of 64%. This result is quite impressive for a 4600mAh phone. Among them, the item that consumes more power is the camera. Consume 9% of the power, followed by games and the highest body temperature measured during the entire battery life, happen to occur in the camera item with the highest power consumption. Especially during the video recording process, the front and back of the body were recorded at 40.3 and 38.3 degrees Celsius. This temperature control is quite good for the Moto X40, with a total heat dissipation area of 24,868 square millimeters. In addition to the credit for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 behind it, Moto's MIUI 5.0, Large Circulation 3-Dimensional Cooling System 2.0, Steam Track 2.0 also contributed. Finally, we turned on the mobile network at night, and kept the basic app of Moto X40, running in the background for 8 hours to simulate the performance of sleep and standby at night. In the end, the phone still has 99% of the remaining power, which is still good. In general, compared to last year's Moto Edge X30, IP68 waterproof, wireless charging, 125W fast charging, 3 camera cameras, and spatial sound effects that support headphones and external speakers, the super hands-free function that can hear the hands-free call clearly from 3 meters away, etc., all make the overall appearance of Moto X40 more sincere, and the hardware performance of Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, LPDDR5X and UFS 4.0, makes this first-generation Moto X, has improved a lot in terms of experience, performance, temperature control, and battery life. Thank you for watching this review, I hope it was useful for you, write your opinion in the comments below, have a nice day and see you soon.